Hey guys, it's your boy and welcome to my review for episode 12 of season 6 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Spice Up Your Life is the episode title, and uh, it's the first episode where the QE map makes its return to doing what it normally does. Apparently it was broken! Yeah, thanks for that, Starlight. So, looking forward to seeing what it does, obviously, in the second half of the season, which will be in the fall. Oh. Why? Why, Hasbro? Why you got to take a hiatus? Ugh. Well, let's get into the episode, and let's see how did they the end part one of season... In six, I want to say, because pretty much. So, spice up your life. Uh, sends Pinky and Rarity to Cantalot. So, well, before they go, before they decide to go in search of the the problem that they have been sent to solve, they decide, you know, let's 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 grab something to eat. You know, I'm pretty sure Pinky is a walking fridge. Itch, because she always seems to have food on her at all times normally. Why she then bring something or her eat on the train to Cantola is a mystery. But hey Hey, I think we've all learned not to question anything Pinky does. So, after trying three restaurants, which were all the same, literally, even the waiters were the same, they just had different colors. Seriously, Hasbro, work on pony designs, or look all over the web and take some of the OCs your, com your fans have made. Seriously, having the same design over and over and over again is boring. Seriously, it's like were all those guys related because there was about the same looking in wear guy, just different colors in every single restaurant. That's not fucking possible. That's not possible. Oh. And who were their were their parents walking rainbow ponies? I mean, you know, we've seen Rainbow Dash, but you know, to actually coordinate the colors of these ponies, their parents would both have to be walking in actual rainbows. Their body and manes would all have to be rainbow colored. To make this any kind of sense. So that's bullshit. I'm just calling it out right now. And then straight away that was a bad. That's uh, I was like oh god. This is going to be one of those episodes isn't it. The fact that it was the second. Rarity and Pinkie Pie episode this season. So instantly. It's nowhere as good as. As a gift for Mod Pie was. So instantly, it was. It was like I was like, this is not gonna be as good as that episode. And I was right, you know. It was. It wasn't a bad episode. I'm not gonna say it was a bad episode. It was better than the last rarity episode. Then again, having. In to. Watch. Much paint dry would have been better than watching the last, last episode. So, you know, there's that. So, after trying three at restaurants, Pinkie Pie's like, you know what, let me choose the restaurant because these, these food is shit. She didn't say shit, but... You could tell that's what she wanted to say. She did not like the food at all. And when Pinkie Pie doesn't like your food, you're a bad cook. Because she, she's pretty much a walking 
in dumpster. She's she's like the pony equivalent of my dog. Eats everything. So, well, Pinkie Pie leads Rarity to a restaurant with no rating, and it's obviously meant to be an Indian establishment. And before I get any comments saying, oh, that's racist, no, look, go watch the episode on YouTube, find the episode on YouTube, you will see other people in the comments thought it as well. So... And, the f- and, like, I think Hasbro were really going for it because they had the owner, the, uh, the two, the, o- the, uh, father and the daughter who owned the restaurant, they were talking in stereotypical Indian accents and they were using curries, which are kind of, sort of well known in Indian foods, I guess, you know. I don't know. I've never had Indian food. I wouldn't know what it is or what it tastes like. Maybe I'll try it one day. Who knows? But, yeah. So, Pinkie Pie and Rarity both seem to like the food. And, and then they realize, oh, these people are the people who totally were here to help. Oh, let's help them. So, Pinkie Pie and the daughter go off. To try and gather a crowd, and Rarity stays behind with the father, or to do up the restaurant, get it ready for her a few food critic, and and you know the customers that Pinkie Pie and the daughter hope to bring in. Didn't work out. Rarity made the restaurant look exactly the same and be exactly and serve the exact same food as the other uh, restaurants and Pinkie Pie and the daughter could not bring in any ponies he's except for two Canadian ponies and don't even say they weren't Canadian, because that's a Canadian accent if I ever heard one, and I've heard them. So, oh, it's Canadian, okay? This was like the most racist episode of My Little Pony ever. Or, what the hell am I talking about? This is a show about pastel colored ponies, and it's fucking racist. What the hell? So the critic shows up. Yep. The uh, daughter, she's like, Nah, we're not serving that. That's plain shit. We're serving food with flavor. And as Pinkie Pie is trying to take the food, who the house? Don't know when she got hired at the restaurant. Must have missed that part. Even though I watched the whole fucking episode. Unfortunately. That's 22 minutes of my life I won't get back. So, as Rarity and Pinkie Pie start fighting, Rarity stands on Pinkie Pie's tail, which causes her to trip. Both flies, and it goes over the Canadian ponies, and it falls all over the, the reviewer's face. Granted, at that point, she was just to be angry and be like, this place isn't good. But the fact that she didn't give him a second chance... Normally, you see this the uh, the antagonist of a, a one-off antagonist, you know, turn around at the end of an episode, mood, but not this time. So, oh, consecutive episodes were. The show had really bad um, ponies who were just horrible. No characters. So, yeah. 
in the end, Rare Team Pink I switch around. They make the restaurant up the way it was. Rarity uses her her sexual appeal to bring in in some customers. Sure, why not? You know, the episode is already racist. Why not make it sexist too? You perfect, Dasbro. You fucking idiots. It's, that's a good message for the kids. Kids, if you're ever running your own business and you find it's not going well, ooh, get a sexy person to promote your business and just, you know, just have unique decorations. And, and flavor food. food. Oh, and be racist as hell. Yes, that's a perfect... Perfect message for the kids. Yes. Racist as hell and get a sexy person to promote your restaurant. Success 101. The Hasbro edition. Why not? I give this episode a four. Bad way to go into the, uh, into the break. I really hope that they he just blow us out of the water with when they come back after the break after the hiatus because if they don't this season will probably be the worst one in my little pony history it's probably already to be honest you know It's not been really that good a season. Hmm. So yeah, that's that was a uh, spice up your life. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this racist, sexist car wreck. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering uh, what's gonna happen during the hiatus, um, I'm going to review. Older episodes of My Little Pony, so I can actually enjoy he reviewing episodes I enjoyed. Hate uh, until I get to show episodes like Rarity Investigates, in which I want to hang myself because I'll have to watch that episode again. But luckily, that's not until season four. So until then, so keep an eye out. Um. I don't know when the first review is going to be up. Hmm. Um. Maybe? You know, during the week. Sometime during the week. You know, as long as you're subscribed, you'll get the, uh, you'll get the message into your, uh, Gmail account. So, you know. Smash the subscribe button. Oh, and hit the like button as well. Don't don't you dare leave without hitting the fucking like button. Hmm. You know. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It. And until next time, hopefully in the next after the highest, they come back less sexist and less racist. Until then, hmm, I hope you all have a very very nice day. Peace.